guys. <laughs> this is Marshall. Marshy. Look at the camera. Look, there's you. Oh, thank you for kisses. Thank you for kisses. Your tongue is cold. Got him a toy here for him to play with while we do this video, but I don't think he's going to be able to... Um... <laughs> Thanks for kisses. don't think he's going to be able to stay in my arms the whole time, so I actually do have a bed for him right here. It's a big fluffy red bed because we're Asian and we like bed, so I'm going to put him in there. He's just... Hopefully he'll just chill. He's been napping all day today, pretty much all day. I had to wake him up to give him lunch and it was already like two. So he is a Pomeranian <laughs> and he was 11 weeks yesterday. He's so fluffy. So he was born on the 6th of June and <laughs> he's my best friend and I love him so much. He's trying to climb on my shoulder and be a pirate. He loves to chew everything right now, but I think that's obviously puppy stages. And he has a million toys and I keep buying him more because I feel like he's really bored because he keeps trying to bite me and my clothes and furniture and things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I got him on the 6th of August. So he was eight and a half weeks old then just gonna put him down now he was eight and a half weeks when I got him and he'd just had his first set of injections the day previous oh uh, don't eat that he's trying to eat a puppy pad now don't do that so we live on the 12th floor of an apartment building and so we do have a nice balcony and I've got a little grass patch out there where he can do his business and he's actually been very good recently. He runs there to do his business and I usually leave the door kind of open enough for him to run in and out if he needs to but he'll usually go out there and play anyway which is great. You guys are actually sitting on top of his crate right now which he seems to like enough like he's never recently he doesn't like want to pounce out straight away which is really good so he'll like sit or lie patiently waiting for me to open the door for him um I've been waking up in the middle of the night just once now um to get him to go to the toilet but he um he's very good he's usually still really snoozy so I set my alarm for like four hours after I put him in the crate and then um I wake up and sometimes I'll have to like wake him up to get him to go to the loo so he's not too he's never sort of barked or whined at me saying that he needed to go to the toilet which is great um I mean while he's in his crate anyway and um I think he's run off to the balcony now with the puppy pad <laughs> probably should go and figure out what's going on there but he'll usually wait at the door if he needs to go and sometimes I don't see it and he does have an accident inside but we are both still learning so please forgive have you come back now he's back he's back oh so his name is Marshall but we call him Marshy sometimes when I get angry I call him Marshall I'm like Marshall why are you doing that hmm? but yeah we call him Marshy and I picked the name Marshall because I wanted a human name and I didn't want like a common name so you know things like Ted or Teddy or Rocky those kinds of like common names I didn't really want for him but also he looked like Marshmallow <laughs> he's just run off with the harness that I wanted to show you guys no come back he looks like a marshmallow, like a toasted marshmallow. I think he's white and cream party, which means it's a mix of white and cream and party is two colours. So yeah, sorry, he's playing tug of war with his harness. I will show you the harness in a minute because he's so teeny tiny. I bought this extra small, sorry, extra, extra small harness from Pets at Home and it's actually too big on him. He slips out of it and even if I like overlap the velcro so it's like this he'll still slip out of it so I bought him a really teeny tiny let go out harness from 
Amazon. So it's like this. This one actually goes over the neck, so he has to put his face through here. So this is probably the same size. Oh, it's a little bit, a little bit smaller than the opening of this one. Oh no, it's the side, that's the head bit. It's a little bit smaller, but like you can fit the whole thing inside and it's still got room, so. It's teeny tiny, but yeah, and then there's a, an adjustable clip strap, so that's that's good so it means that he, if he grows a little bit before he can fit the red one he can still fit this one and we have practice walkies haven't we he's trying he's biting it out of me again i can't even remember if i told you he was a pomeranian or not don't you dare chew up your harness because i mean it was like three pound four pound but still you need that because when we learn to go walkies you're not going to be big enough so actually his second injections are booked for September um, because it's supposed to be, I think it's two to four weeks after his first injections, but because he's so small, he needs to have his second injections like four weeks later. So at 12 weeks of age. And so we've booked in for early September, but then I think that um, looking online, you have to wait a couple more weeks before they can actually go outside. And I'm really nervous because he hasn't met any dogs yet apart from just like seeing them on the TV and seeing them when I've carried him out, like he hasn't smelled them or anything like that. So I'm trying to make some puppy dates or doggy dates. Um, can you stop chewing that please? Yes, good boy. Here, have his toy. He also just peed on the carpet just now, which is unusual for him because he doesn't he's like stopped doing that like he peed on the carpet once or twice and that was it and then today he peed on the carpet again so i'm a little bit annoyed but it was probably my own fault because he was napping and then i got up to get ready to do this video and he followed me and he probably didn't go to the bathroom first and that's why he peed so that's my fault for not looking after him properly not supervising him properly or not keeping him confined to an area where he could <laughs> he's like reaching into the crate to like get his like bear toy out you can go the door's open babe you can go around the side <laughs> so cute you're so cute yes you are um he likes to jump on my lap which is really sweet and like cut like when he gets a toy he'll like grab a toy and then come and jump on my lap now he's pulling my cardigan i've got you a toy right here and you still want to pull on everything else anyway so um he weighed just over one kilogram on the 10th of August. And so he was just about nine weeks then, I think, or just over nine weeks, because it was Saturday. And so he weighed 1.06 kilograms, which I think is like one pound something. He is so cute, so cute. So I can carry him with one hand, it's really easy. And he does like to chew my hair and stuff as well. It's the first time I've had curly hair around him. So, Meh, stop biting me. Ow. He's he's learnt a little bit of bite inhibition, so he's not biting as hard. Ow! That hurt. But, um, so every time he does bite hard, you're supposed to say ow and then, like, turn your body away and fold your arms and, like, have really uninviting body language so that they learn that that's not a fun thing for me or you and that they decide that okay that's not fun for them I'll be nicer next time but it's not really working out too well um okay I did find some puppy questions online because I wasn't sure what else I wanted to say so I'm just gonna have a look at those Okay, so how I got Marshall. So I got him through a breeder um, and she is not a Pomeranian breeder as her job. I think she actually breeds horses, but she, she's definitely a dressage horse person. And so I knew that um, someone who would like animals is obviously not gonna treat them, treat her dogs badly. and. So she actually had two litters from two Pomeranians 
they were both um, fathered by the same pom. And this was her second set of litters and she's only bred them every year or so and I, she said that she'll breed them once more next year and then that will be it for them. The mothers are her pets so that was really good um, and yeah it worked out really well for me. I did go and visit the puppies when they were six weeks old and she'd actually um, promised to keep one for me before I managed to go see them and actually all of the others were reserved by the time I went to see them and that was within a span of about three days which was absolutely crazy but um, I really really wanted a white or light coloured Pomeranian puppy and that's always been my dream dog so I'm really pleased that I managed to get him. If you guys need tips when you are looking for your own puppy the basic ones are make sure you go and see the puppy before you put any money down. I know because of COVID and stuff, everybody's just been like FaceTiming with the breeder and the puppies, but make sure you also see the mother um, and then they're like transferring a deposit over and then it's a little bit suspicious because apparently some people have been scammed that way. They like show them a puppy on FaceTime and then they give them an address and then they go to the address and the address isn't real and there's no puppy and you've just lost out on your money. So just be vigilant, listen to your gut. Like as soon as I went to go and see Marshall and the puppies, I felt instantly relaxed. The home was so nice and welcoming. She had other dogs as well that were like um, other family pets and it was, in like a cottagey farm place and there were stables around because obviously she's a horse person so that was pretty cool and just like yeah make sure you see the mums it doesn't matter too much if you don't see the dad but it is good if you can see the dad also if not definitely get a picture of the dad and if possible even a video I don't know but yeah and make sure that you have a good feeling about the person and the environment that the puppies are brought up in and that kind of thing and that the puppies are active and playful and they're exploring everywhere and they want to like well it also depends on the age of the puppies that you're going to see but I think six weeks is a perfect time to be able to see them if you if you're not reserving from like a, a litter that's not even born yet or something like that so just those are my tips we're on the Burns puppy kibble and actually he's been really liking that obviously he was brought up on that with his mum and siblings so um, I've just kept up with that it's the chicken and rice puppy original I think it's called um, they do actually have a puppy club thing on the Burns website and I didn't know about this it came up on my Facebook feed of course um, so I went on there and they give you, if you join up for £10, I think, they'll give you, they'll send you a bag of puppy food and then two bags of adult food as well. Um, so the options for the puppy food, they did have a lamb and rice version. So I didn't see that in Pets at Home when I bought the chicken and rice version. So I opted for the lamb version um to come so that's gonna come soon and actually one bag is like nine pound 89 or something in pets at home so it's nice that i'm getting another bag of puppy food plus two bags of adult food for that same price basically um so that's that's you know that's a great a great deal i think um and we had been using little pieces of boiled chicken breast um as training treats but um, I've cut down on that now and I'm using the WAG training treats because they seem to be really, they seem to be really healthy, healthy in terms of treats and also they're good for puppies from eight weeks so you can start using them straight away because a lot of the treats I found the puppies need to be 16 weeks so it was mainly just chicken. Um, the other thing is that because the chicken pieces I was giving him were so tiny, some of the chicken that I had pre-boiled for him had gone off by the time. So 
I kind of just had to throw that away and it's really sad because you know he loves he loves chicken he loves chicken so the reason why I did opt in for the lamb and rice puppy food on the website was because I had been eating lamb recently had some lamb chops so I just had, like took tiny bits off my lamb chop and like I am um, when it was warm out of the oven and I just broke them down into little tiny pieces and sprinkled it over his kibble and he absolutely gobbled it all up so I knew that he likes it um I've also given him some boiled egg and some scrambled egg um microwave style so I made two eggs I wanted I wanted scrambled egg myself so I put two eggs and then I poured a little bit into a ceramic bowl and I microwaved it for like 20-30 seconds and then it like cooks it and then um, with nothing else so it was just the egg no salt or anything and then I just added that into his added a little bit of that into his meal and then I've also put bits of those egg into like his little puppy Kong and stuff as well he really loves that and I also bought him a toy that's like a mental toy so it's like a puzzle where you hide kibble and food and bits and stuff in it and he has to like sniff them out and figure out using his brain how to get to those pieces of food which is great um I am finding that he is getting quite bored being in this apartment I haven't opened up the whole apartment to him so he's only allowed in my room where he sleeps in in and also in my bathroom because when I'm in there I like to keep an eye on him if I'm if he's not crated um and then the lounge and kitchen area <laughs> I forgot what it's called because it's open plan anyway and of course the balcony where he goes to the bathroom so every time you know we're spending most of our day in the lounge and stuff and every time I open the fridge or the freezer he knows he will run up to me he follows me and he he just knows oh i've also been giving him frozen fruits um because i have frozen fruits in my freezer for making smoothies and stuff um i did look up things that they can they can have so i've been giving him little pieces of frozen banana frozen raspberries and blueberries as well because blueberries are great because they have antioxidants and stuff it's good for us and good for them so it's brilliant he is scared of the blender oh my god the blender is so loud though um i think i think my one's from bowden bowden i'm not sure of the name but basically that thing goes on and he runs although i've only had a smoothie one time in his entire life or his entire few weeks that he's been here um we have done vacuuming as well i've just did another vacuum session earlier today and he he's okay with the vacuum because i've been giving him treats to make him like happy of course he'll like come near me and stuff when i'm vacuuming of course he's scared of the actual vacuum because it is loud and it is a big scary machine especially when you're like this big but it's okay he's doing well he had a bath as well i had a uh, i showered him because i wanted him to sort of get used to it and he needs to get used to grooming because he is a pomeranian so he has to get groomed a lot um i think they only need bathing like once a month if i'm correct um so my friend came over and she helped me we got in my shower luckily it's big enough for two people in there and um, I had a little bucket and we used the little shower. Um, he did not like that. He's not a fan of like a lot of water, but he is a fan of water because when it rains on the balcony, he likes to go and play in the rain and he freaking lies down in the rain puddles. So I'm like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, he was also scared of the hairdryer, which was really sweet, but I think he was just overwhelmed from being, having, a bath and and then having the hair dryer but i've been putting it on to like dry my own hair and obviously just like i'll just put it on him a little bit and he's not as scared recently but i don't know if it was just because at the first time it was really overwhelming and um i feed him most of his meals in the crate if they're not in the crate they're in um the kong or the um the 
mind toy so that he's working for the food as well and then if he is feeding in the crate sometimes I'll just stick the hairdryer on and blow him with it as well so he kind of associates the hairdryer with something positive I want him to eat at the same time I'm eating so he doesn't feel the need to like sit by me and like beg for food or anything like that so he either eats before I eat or the time the same time that I eat and if it's the same time that I eat I put him in the crate and I close the crate and I usually close the door as well and then I'll go and have my food and then he usually eats his food quite quickly not too fast but quick enough um and then so I'll like take my time and have my dinner and then when I'm ready I'll come and get him out and usually he's chill he's fine sometimes when he finishes he does a little bark but it's just like one bark and he's done and then he'll just like sit in his crate or like lie in his crate and just wait for me which is really sweet so he's a pretty good dog and I can't blame him for the chewing although I'm trying to give him as many chew toys as possible he really likes rope toys so actually that one rope toy that I bought him from Aldi, I don't know if you guys remember it, it's the, um, I think it was an orange and yellow bunny toy, so cute, he absolutely loved it, but the knots started coming out straight away, and he, he was pulling the pieces of string out and eating them, so obviously that's really bad for a dog, especially a puppy, because the string can get caught up in their intestines, and then you know it can like twist up their organs and stuff and they can die so I've decided to remove that toy from him and I, I was TMI but I was checking his poos to make sure that the string was coming out because just, I don't want him to die <laughs> um so yeah I've decided to remove that toy from him and I'm just gonna throw it away because I just don't want him to have any incidents like that I did buy him some pet stairs from Aldi um, and they're great. He's great going up them. He's not so great going down them. They are great storage bins though for all his toys and bits and bobs and stuff. It's perfect. I've got all his grooming stuff in one stair, like his harness and, and big toys in the other stairs and things like that. So good. Um, but yeah, we need to work on coming down. So he goes up onto the sofa and it's fine. He has fallen off the sofa a couple times by accident. He's like scratching himself or licking or something and then he'll just like tip over the edge. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit dangerous, but he's been okay, thankfully. And I did obviously see him both times to make sure that he was okay. And I did catch him one time as well. So we're trying to teach him not to do that and be careful. Um, but he is not using the stairs unless somebody is present. Oh, so the last thing is tricks that he can do. So he can sit without any um, hand commands, just by vocal command. Um, he does sometimes need a hand command, but he's still pretty good at sitting. He can do down with a hand command. He can stand with a hand command. Um, and we do, we've learnt touch, he's kind of regressed with touch because I taught him paw or shake hands as well and also high five but he does a high ten because he's so little he has to jump both feet on his, on my hand, it's so cute um, and I'll insert some videos at the end of this if you want to see his tricks um, we are le learning bang which is, hi, we're learning bang which is um, play dead. So you do you do like bang and then they like half roll over and then we were gonna teach roll over afterwards, but he's really not liking going on his back. So I don't know if it was the floor in the living room because it is a wooden floor, but there is, I've been like laying down a towel and there's carpet in here. So I might actually try doing it. Do, do your training session in here tonight, shall we? Yeah, I'm loving having him. I am a first time dog owner, so I've never had a dog before and my family hasn't either, so I'm not used to dogs at all, but he will look to me for comfort. Uh, one time he woke up from like a bad nightmare or something and he, he like came to me and like we just cuddled. It was so cute. Anyway, I think that's the end of it.
Um, so yeah, if you have any other questions, do let me know um, about Marshall and hopefully we'll see you in another video soon. Come here, come here. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sit <laughs> down. Oh, stand. Good boy. Spin. Good boy. Paw. Yes, good boy. Oh, so cute. Shake hands. Yes, good boy. Shake hands. Ooh. Hi, Mushy. Mushy, bang!